We just we just entered Stockton. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> well, hey, don't say anything stupid. Yeah. <laughs> now later when I watch this video, I'll want to know what he said. Oh, what a cute little veteran memorial park. That was cute. <laughs> and here's our post office. It's cute too. Little tiny thing. We have to check our P.O. box there because the mail doesn't get delivered to our house. Because we live, I, I don't know, why do you reckon they don't deliver up there? Because it's not really a place. <laughs> it really doesn't exist. Open, honk if hungry. And then there's a little cafe and Area 52, which I think is a bar. And then we've got Stockton General Store. There's a welcome sign. So cute. Welcome to Stockton. And it tells you where things are. Well, that's cool. Um, I don't know if you could actually read that. South Rim Subdivision is actually where we live. And then, you know, this is a really old area here. This town was actually incorporated back, well, it's not really a town, but this area was settled back in the late 1800s, wasn't it? Yes. And it's been populated the whole time. And the population got up to well over a thousand. I don't remember exactly what it was. Until they closed the mine. And the mine got closed and then everybody started leaving. So the population dropped off a lot and then is slowly building back up. And when I say slowly, I mean over probably close to 16, 20 years. 16 to 20 years? Oh, I was thinking more like 70. I don't remember. I'd have to go back well, and look the at the stats. The boom started about 16 years ago when they started building these houses. Oh, uh, okay. Well, yeah, after it started growing, but I mean, it dropped off before that. Yeah, that's when it started coming back. Yeah. So the drive-in is actually um, quite a ways. We got to speed up through here. Why? And people around here take for granted that the road is going to be clear. We've already had a couple of people try to pull out in front of us. Yeah, somebody new messes up the whole flow of things. Apparently. Oh, one of our neighbors came by this morning and introduced herself and visited. That was that was nice. So we've met our first person in our area. She lives kind of catty corner to our house. It's actually her family that settled. Her family or his? His. His family that settled the area, so or that uh, built the uh, subdivision at South South Rim where we live. That was their land. They sold they sold it off and, and built houses. So a lot of their family lives out there. I can't imagine what this is going to look like in a few months, all white. <laughs> Apparently, the county or the city next to us, where all the stuff is gets more snow because it's very close to Great, Great Salt Lake and um, isn't Great Salt Lake right outside of Tooele? No. It, it's not far though. It's not far. About 15 minutes. So um, they get a lot of lake effect snow whereas we don't here. So of course our definition of not a lot of snow is not the same as their definition of not a lot of snow. Yeah, three feet ain't a lot out here. <laughs> we should have asked her about snow blowers. Like, do we actually need a snow blower? We would not shovel that big old driveway. Well, we don't have to shovel a path for you to get out. Because <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. I'll be calling Amazon. Send me food. And hello fresh. Macy's actually does uh, grocery delivery too. I don't know about in the winter, but I went on their website, but their website won't load right on my phone, so. And just for the record, I'm driving gingerly because I got a new deep freeze in the back of the truck. Yeah, we would normally be going a little faster than this. But I didn't strap it down. But we bought a deep freezer to put in the basement, so we have. Basement, I'm gonna put in the garage. Oh, garage, okay. Yeah, that's right, we talked about that, didn't we? I forgot. The basement if you want on it. No. It's better in the um, garage. Easier to get to. Easier to drop stuff off into the freezer when I buy it. Yeah, baby. I don't like going down in the basement. It's a little creepy. Yeah, baby. Not really. It's got windows. It's, you know. This 
is probably boring. It's not boring. It's exciting. No, to other people boring. No, they're all riveted. Nobody's going to want to watch this. They're all going to want to watch it. <laughs> Like, oh, oh now again. they will. <laughs> now they want to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> See, we need one of those. What is that? Oh, one of them little. Uh, how much are them things though? Like ten thousand dollars, aren't they? Yeah, starting. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. That's like a car payment, honey. We have to get a used one. Oh uh, well, see if you can find a used one then. I can find one in about ten minutes. <laughs> you already know where some are. No, I haven't been looking at all. Oh, you're lying. Okay, so... The guy down the street from us has a couple snowmobiles on a trailer out front. We're coming up to all the homes. You see I'm ignoring his ridiculous conversation. And she did say it didn't snow enough last year for him to even sled. So. Right, yeah, they didn't have any good sledding days last year because it was... Uh, not enough snow. Yeah, not enough snow. But that's a bad thing because that's where all their water and hydration comes from. So then it... Um, no, it's not. There's still some more lots for sale, though, if anybody wants one. Hey, we saw them at the post office. Did we? Yeah. They were oh, the on their on there. their four wheeler. Oh God, really? All the way from here? I, Dean said that, and I didn't. You know, I'm like, whatever. People really do that? Oh my God, that's a long ride. So our house is over here to the right. Have we passed it yet? No. Okay. I don't remember. We won't I pass it on the street. Oh, we won't. I lose my bearings. I haven't been out here. I haven't been back and forth enough yeah, yet. Your to... Bearings and your marbles. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. And then I like this our little. Yeah, I like our little welcome sign that. Uh, it, well, and there's also rawhide subdivision out here too. I don't know exactly where it is and where ours begins, but this is the entrance to ours. I can't zoom. There we go. I want to get the sign. Oh, it's not going to show up good in this picture. Never mind. There's people behind me. Oh, is there? I need one of those. Bulldozer? Yeah. To move them rocks around. I love that house right there. I love the rock work and everything. And the uh, that's just a pretty house to me. Oh, they got a pretty backyard, too. Yeah. I'm kind of glad that ours has rocks all in it because then we don't have to smell it. Smell it. And this is the neighbors. I think it's two. Is it two of the neighbors or just the one? Which house is hers? That yeah. one, the red brick one. They built it so they can see the view. Yep. So that is the girl that came over and introduced ourselves. And They've got a beautiful home. Sister -in -law. Yeah, and sister in law lives over here. And then this is us. Can you pull in? I can though. Okay, I was gonna say I know you like to back in, but there we go. And there's the garage and our front door. So pretty. And our view. I gotta do something. Yeah, and there's our view. There's another view out that way. We can see that from the back patio, those mountains there. And then we've got got view out front too. We're sitting out here and that's what we did this morning we sat out front while i had my coffee it was so nice i'm gonna hate it when greg has to go back to work so i hope you enjoyed that little uh, drive in with us and we're home and going to unload the freezer, freezer.